Hello, YouTube family. This is about as raw as it gets. So here's an example of the more family outside playtime. I currently have a little friend walking over to me. Harmony's coming over with her sand. Um, so what is facilitated here is Harmony, my two-year-old. I was able to facilitate her sandbox being outside. She has her little, uh, she has her swimsuit on, her hat, you know. The water table is full. The backyard is a little nuts. But uh, I have her sprinkler going. And then her two-month-old brother is in his dome thing here, which keeps him from, you know, the sun and everything else. He's in there. Not too, not too excited about being in there right now. And this is the basket that I brought outside to try and facilitate all of this. This is my little seat. What's inside my basket is a book to read, my phone, um, bug spray, uh, water, icy water for her and I, changing, you know, some uh, diapers and some wipes, and what is it, sunblock and some bug spray. Now, what I want to say about this seemingly great experience right where it's like oh that's so nice you know you facilitated all of that you see him starting to cry there is the reality so this video or rather i guess what i want to say the one little point i'm going to make before i appease him is as a parent you feel differently at different times and the long and short of it is this. I didn't have the time to prepare all of these things this morning without the kids. So I'm trying to um, put the water holes together, shovel the sand out of the sandbox to put it in her, in her sandbox, clean out her water table, facilitate this dome. Doing all of these things felt crazy. It made me feel really annoyed, irritated, and like it took away from the experience with the kids. I'm like snapping at Harmony. Like she's like, she's like being cute, right? And she's like trying to like grab the water um, out of the water table as I'm filling it up. And I'm getting so annoyed with her. Like, so I just, I guess this video more so is just going to speak about the reality of how it really feels or how it can feel when you do not prepare. So point number one, Preparation is everything. Without it, you'll feel crazy. Here's a note. So, I feel so much calmer now, and I'm still outside in my water playtime, outside playtime with my daughter, and I'm just now starting to have some fun. Like, I'm running through the water with her, and she's just making me laugh. Like, all the normal ways that I feel as far as her and I having fun are kicking in. I just had to share this though. So check out the baby now from the very last part of this video. Look at him now. You would just think like, oh, okay, he fell asleep, so it's better. Actually, what what was happening was that he was crying, uh, not because he was hungry, he's not wet. He was just upset because he couldn't stay asleep. So just like most newborns, um, our son, he can get to sleep just fine, like if his other needs are taken care of. But he has a serious startle reflex where he, you know, his arms jump up and he wakes up out of his sleep um, startled. So it wakes him up and he starts screaming and crying. And he actually, you know, he's so unregulated. He's only, he's less than two months old. He'll be two months, let me see, hmm, September 12th. Today is September 1st. So he's not even two months old yet. Um, so yeah, he wakes up out of his sleep in a startle and he is startled. So what I just did right now was I took my breastfeeding cover. I have a cover that I put on and I tied his arms. To, I tied it around him like as tight as I could so his arms can't fly up. So, but what it made me do was I got on Amazon and I just easily ordered a swaddle strap. And the reason is because it's so warm outside. You know, I wouldn't think to put him in his full body swaddle. It would have been too hot. Um, I say all that to make another really good point, which is a parent without the proper tools is like, it's like a chef. It's like some kind of chef or a baker not having a working oven or, you know, the whatever particular 
tools they may need to facilitate cooking. It doesn't even make sense. So I think us as parents have to take parenting that serious. I think we have to realize all that we don't know. It's hard. Um, and some of the things are really, really simple. But children are so demanding that you may not just have the literal time. You may not even have the time to just do something as simple as order, um, you know, a swaddle strap. Uh, it takes two seconds, but you may just be like, just just running around with your kids and by the time there is time maybe you want time with your spouse maybe you're tired <laughs> she just made the video turn off <laughs> my point is this though I already made it but parents without the proper tools parents or caregivers without the proper tools are like I already use the example of a baker but there are a lot of other types of professionals any kind of profession, any kind of thing. It's like an artist without a paintbrush. It's like a athlete without their, without the ball that they use, football, soccer, right? Um, it's like any type of person or people's trying to facilitate something without their tools that they need to facilitate. It's not wise, and so my point is just that sometimes becoming the wiser, taking a second, whenever you have it, or maybe you have to create it, to educate yourself on the things that your specific children in their specific age range may need to help you. Because once I was able to strap my son's arms and realize that was the issue, I'm now enjoying my time.